quick review of the New South Wales native forest as collected in 3D using a mobile LiDAR scanning system. The complexity of forest description and uh, traditional forest imagery often results in large numbers of staff and effort to collect detailed forest descriptions such as the forest you've seen in front of you. However, deploying a mobile LiDAR scanning system such as the Emerson hover map in this scenario collects a very rich data set uh, representing the forest in its complexity in three dimensions. The data that you're seeing here has been collected in around a 10 minute survey with a operator or forest imagery staff member wearing the Emerson hover map as a backpack and walking around uh, the plot area. You can see here the point cloud represented by tree height and the next step is to then segment the, those trees into individuals. The point cloud being coloured by individual trees and this forest is very complex in its nature and the algorithmic approaches that allow this kind of segmentation uh, have evolved uh, substantially over the last 18 months. Of course we also want to be able to extract out the stems from the surrounding foliage and be able to quantify or measure these and so the algorithms also need to be able to extract out trees and provide this kind of information. In this case uh, just showing how those uh, stems are then profiled for uh, volume and diameter whereby each of the trees have been sliced up into 10 centimetre increments uh, encapsulating volume measurements and diameter measurements up through the tree profile. And this being collected at this point using the backpack in front of you, you can see the uh, staff member wearing and uh, but there's opportunities to also look at how these could be used on drones as well. From here we're looking at how we can improve the algorithms and the AI used to classify and segment uh, and measure these trees and to do this we need to keep the human in the loop. So in this case here you can see how virtual reality is being used whereby a forester is being placed inside that virtual environment uh, to validate, check and train uh, these algorithms to get better. The key attribute of the classification algorithms is being able to provide these machine learning or deep learning approaches with good training data. And so the development of these virtual reality tools is to put the forester into a familiar environment where they can see the uh, trees in their normal scale and proportions in front of them. They can then annotate and describe the trees and, and therefore uh, provide that training data onto the uh, subsequent algorithms for analysis. These LiDAR systems are being deployed both above the canopy and also within the canopy. Here you can see the DJI L1 sensor uh, collecting a LiDAR point cloud over a native forest area. and the Emerson hover map uh, flying 
on a DJI drone within the forest canopy with full autonomy. These approaches show real promise and this is just a small insight into how uh, New South Wales native forest is being represented in 3D.